اعوذ باللہ سمیع العلیم من الشیطان العین الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم I start in the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate. Assalamu alaikum dear children, dear parents, followers of Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam and to the entire humanity. Dear children, dear parents, tonight is the shab of Wiladad of Imam Hassan al-Askari alayhi salam, the father of our last Imam, Imam Mehdi alayhi salam. While this is a jashan, dear children, dear parents, make sure you take wuzu prior to coming and sitting down. Please do not waste water, dear children. Let's all start with the name of Allah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. And let's all send our salam to Abu Abdullah Hussein alayhi salam. Assalam alal Hussein wa ala Ali ibn al Hussein wa ala awlad al Hussein wa ala ashab al Hussein. And let's all send our salam. Assalamu alaikum ya Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa alihi. Assalamu alaikum ya Imam Ali Murtaza. Assalamu alaikum ya Bibi Fatima Zahra. Assalamu alaikum ya Imam Hassan al Askari. And all, let's all send our salam to the Imam of our time. Assalamu alaikum ya Imam Mehdi. Please recite salawat. اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وأجل فرجهم وفرجنا به. I would like to congratulate and wish each and every one of you and your family on the ولادت of Imam Hassan al Askari عليه السلام, our eleventh Imam and the father of Qaim, our twelfth Imam عليه السلام. Today we have very special guests we have with us Nargis Fatima she's inshallah going to start with Talavat the Quran we have Muhammad Jawad from India he's inshallah going to recite Manqabat on behalf on for the love of our 12th Imam we have Zahra Jahan Abdi and Hamza Jafar Abdi from UAE they're going to recite Dwai Faraj followed by a Manqabat then we have another Nargis Fatima mashallah she is going to recite a few of the hadiths by Imam Hassan al Askari. We have, uh, we were supposed to be joined by Sayyidina Nouria Naqvi, and she has prepared a calligraphy art for all of you, um, which is a very beautiful art in, the, in Islam. And so she has kindly shared the images for me to share with all of you to see what she has done in that art. We have Sayyid Mehdi and Zainab Haider, inshallah, they're going to both recite Manqabat. We have Alize Jafri from USA. She's not able to join us because I think it's 3 a.m. over there at the moment. So she has prepared and sent a video of her Manqabat. And we will finish off with, Qur with Quratulain Ali, a poetry about our 11th Imam. Please recite Salawat for all these beautiful children and their families. اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وأجل فرجهم وفرجنا به. Now I would request Nurjus Fatima to please start with Lawat al Quran al Pak. Please recite salawat for her well-being and for her family's well-being. اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وأجل فرجهم وفرجنا به. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يسبح لله ما في السماوات وما في الأرض الملك القدوس العزيز الحكيم هو الذي بعث في الأميين رسولا منهم يتلو عليهم آياته ويذكيهم ويعلمهم الكتاب ويعلمهم الكتاب والحكمة وإن كانوا من قبل لفي ظلال مبين وآخرين منهم لمن يلحقوا بهم وهو العزيز الحكيم ذلك فضل الله يؤتيه من يشاء والله ذو الفضل العظيم 
مثل الذين حملوا الطورات ثم لم يحملوها كمثل الحمار يحمل يحمل أسفارا بئس مثل القوم الذين كذبوا بآيات الله والله لا يحذي القوم الظالمين قل يا أيها الذين هادوا إن دعمتم أنكم أولياء لله من دون النساء من دون الناس فتمنوا الموت إن كنتم صادقين ولا يتمنونه أبدا بما قدمت أيديهم والله عليم بالظالمين قل إن الموت الذين تفرون منه فإنه ملاقكم ثم ثم تردون إلى عالم الغيب والشهادة فينبئكم بما كنتم تعملون يا أيها الذين آمنوا إذا نودي للصلاة من يوم الجمعة فسعوا إلى ذكر الله وذروا البعث ذلكم خير لكم إن كنتم تعلمون فإذا قضي للصلاة فانتشروا في الأرض وابتغوا من فضل الله واذكروا الله كثيرا لعلكم تفلحون وإذا رأوا تجارة أو لحوا فضوا إليها وتركوك قائما قل ما عند الله خير من اللحو ومن التجارة والله خير الرازقين صدق الله العلي العظيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وأجل فرجهم وسهل مخرجهم وأحلك آداهم وانصر شيعته قائم على محمد اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وأجل فرجهم وفرجنا به Jazak Allah, mashallah, Narjus Fatima beautifully recited the law of the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed you, mashallah. And the first stage of is learning how to recite the beautiful recitation of the Quran. And the second stage is focusing on the interpretation and understanding it. And after that, a next step is memorizing the Holy Quran. So inshallah, inshallah, you beautifully recite it. And for the next step for you is to now understand what the verses mean and memorize the Holy Quran, inshallah. Please recite another salawat for Narjis Fatima and her family. Allahumma swalli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad wa ajil farajahum wa farajna bihi. Jazakallah. Dear children, dear parents, now we have with us Muhammad Jawad from India. Please recite salawat for his well-being and for his family's well-being. Allahumma swalli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad wa ajil farajahum wa farajna bihi. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Aka ajaye, mola ajaye, muntazir raj sara jaha Aka ajaye, mola jo tere, ये हुबदार है मुश्किल में सारे गिरफ्तार है मौला जो तेरे ये हुबदार है मुश्किल में सारे गिरफ्तार है 
अस्करी के समर अस्करी के समर सरद गोज सारा जहा है आका जाइए मुंतजिर आज सारा जहा है मौला जाइए I've never pronounced your last name, so do correct me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. So it's Muhammad Jawad Rajan. Jazakallah, mashallah. Did I pronounce it correctly? No, Rajan. Rajan. I'm so sorry. Um, Muhammad Jawad okay. Rajan. Um, so very, very nicely. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed you. Such a beautiful voice and you're using it in the best manner. For the love of Ahlul Bayt and in the jashan of our 12th Imam and his beloved father. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with you and accept you in his complete manner. May you be among the of the Imam of our time, Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. Ilahi ameen. Ilahi ameen. Muhammad Jawad. Jazakallah. Dear children, dear parents, now we have with us Hamza Jafar Abdi and Zahra Jahan Abdi. Inshallah, she will start off with Dwai Faraj. Let's all take part alongside her in the recitation of uh, the beautiful supplication for our 12th Imam. And then Hamza will uh, recite a manqabat afterwards. Please recite salawat for their well being and for their family's well being. Allahumma swalli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad wa ajil farajahum wa farajna bihi. Hazrat Muhammadin, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan al-rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allahumma kulli waliyaka hujjat ibni hasan salawatuka ali wa ala abah fi hadhi al-sah wa fi kulli Thank you. 
اللهم صل على محمد سكت الله والذي والعزيز أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا الله يا رحمن يا رحيم يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلبي على دينك صلوات اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد عند الفرح ولادة إمام حسن أسكري عليه السلام مبارك to everyone. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. جب امام آئیں گے بام و در سجائیں گے جب امام آئیں گے جشن ہم منائیں گے جب امام آئیں گے زخم ہے ابھی تازہ مکہ اور مدینہ کے شام و کوفہ کر کو بلا ہم بھلا نہیں سکتے از سخی پتائی دم خیر سے نہیں پہنچے جتنے دکھ اٹھائے ہیں ہم نے کلمہ گویوں سے ایک ایک چکائیں گے ایک ایک چکائیں گے جب امام آئیں گے شکل ہے جن کو اللہ کے عدل اور عدالت پر منصب نبوت پر سیدہ کی سمت پر مرتضا کی احمد سے متصل نیابت پر جن کو شکر بارا پر بارویں کی غیبت پر سب ہی مار کھائیں گے سب ہی مار کھائیں گے جب امام آئیں گے نعمت شریعت کو بھوج ہی سمجھتے ہیں لہب و لاب ہی کو ہم زندگی سمجھتے ہیں صاحبان بر کو بڑا آدمی سمجھتے ہیں تنگ دس مومن کو بس یوں ہی سمجھتے ہیں کیا مقام پائیں گے کام پائیں گے جب امام آئیں گے اللہ جل جو کہتے ہیں آگئے تو کیا ہوگا کیا ہے اپنی تیاری پیش ہم کریں گے کیا 
beautifully recited may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with both of you and your family for such a beautiful upbringing of both of you may you both be the be the intercessors for your mom and dad on the day of judgment there is a beautiful supplication in the Sahifa Sajjadiyah that says, Oh Allah, if my shortcomings, if my mistakes are a lot, then make my parents be my intercessors on the day of judgment. But if my parents have done something wrong which you do not like, then at least make me be their intercessors. So I pray that all of you, dear children, be intercessors for your dear parents and your relatives on the day of judgment, inshallah beautifully recited may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it in its complete manner may imam mahdi alayhi salam be pleased with both of you that on the day on the viladat of his beloved father you have recited such beautiful manqabat mashallah jazakallah please recite another salawat for zahra and hamza jafar abdi allahumma swalli ala muhammadin wa ali muhammad wa ajil farajahum wa farajna bihi Dear children, dear parents, some quick announcements that I would like to make and share with all of you guys. Um, I have shared this previously in one of the majlis, I believe, or in one of the judgments in the past, a few months ago. And so a quick recap I would like to do again is that there are Urdu classes running online and it is very important that you encourage your children to take part in these cl uh, uh, classes. Um, the purpose of this class is not only to teach your children Urdu, which is an important language, especially if you want Islamic education to that level, it's really important that they understand and get a grasp of the Urdu Zaban, Urdu language. So I would highly recommend each and every one of you to consider this seriously. Um, CAS School is running this online and not only they're doing it, but they're doing it through very uh, fun and interactive manner, through videos and quizzes, really, really appropriate for your children's level, I would say. So please take hold of this opportunity uh, you can definitely get in touch. The numbers are listed on the screen as well as Caskell's info is given. Um, otherwise, on the flies, my personal number is given to you so you can get in touch with me. The other uh, thing I would like to share with all of you, this is for the very first time this has happened. Um, I have created, uh, I've been sharing on the slides with all of you guys, the different Islamic months. And so I would like to share this with all of you guys that we have created our very first Islamic Shia flashcards. Uh, so basically this is the prices marked on that is Australian, but depending on where you're living, it can be altered. Um, for example, Pakistan and India, it'll be based on rupee. It will be different, but this is a uh, rough idea for you guys that what this package holds is Quranic surahs. There's eight surahs of the Holy Quran. I will go through the slides with you more. Uh, in the package, we have Usuluddin, an explanation of each one of them. We have Furuuddin, we have the 12th Imams, the Islamic month, 
the 14 Muslims alayhim salam and so it, it, this is laminated flashcards so in the long term usage I will highly recommend each family to at least have one set of cards you this is, is used not only for you to for your child to remember the dates uh, you can actually I personally use it to put it on my uh, fridge the Islamic months and then I say okay tomorrow is this month next month is this month and this is the event so it's really helpful if we want to be on track that each coming majlis or jashan we know beforehand and so if going um, my number is given there if you guys are interested pre-order is um, important and internationally there will be a little bit charges applied for posting and all that but we can get a talk about those once you get in touch um, just in terms of what the package actually contains you can purchase this individually one pack at a time or you can buy it in a bulk so alhamdulillah we have um, made this and highly been appreciated by many parents here in Australia, in Melbourne uh, specifically. Um, so I will recommend you guys to um, purchase this. This is really good. So we have a Solidin pack and it, it will go and explain in a level that the children understand. We have Roydin. So these are a, a quick flash of the cards listed. We have Islamic months that I have constantly sharing with you guys on the uh, all the events so far and the Quranic surahs. Now with the Quranic surahs, there's eight and what it is, one card will have the English transliteration and translation um, in case if the children can't uh, read it, then the other card will have the Arabic. And my per my little sister has personally been using this after all her namaz. So she would put it in her um, in the mask pack and she will go through them afterwards so i would highly recommend you guys to get hold of this uh, the 14 masumin alayhim salam is different to the 12th imams pack and this is the first time we have created this inshallah in the future we're creating um the um holy attributes of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asmal husna cards and so it can be used as a memory game a family fun time as well to learn and grasp their knowledge that's something I wanted to share with you all of you. Uh, please do spread this awareness um, because this is available for anyone around the world. In saying that, now we're moving on to the upcoming participant of ours tonight, Nargis Fatima. She is going to go through um, a few of the very beautiful and important hadiths by our 11th Imam, Imam Hassan al Askari. Please recite salawat for Nargis Fatima and her family. اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وأجل فرجهم وفرجنا به بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم on this auspicious occasion of birth anniversary of Imam Hassan al Askari عليه السلام I'm going to share some of Imam Hassan al Askari's hadith quotes. Number one, to greet everyone you pass by and sit in a place other than the first class of session are signs of modesty. Number two, reasonless laughter is a sign of ignorance. Number three, the worst servant of Allah are those who are two faced and two tongues. They praise their present friends and backbite the absent. They envy from them abating graces and disappoint them when they suffer a misfortune. Fortune. Just to explain that a little bit more, if I may, I just thought I step in here. Yeah, very quickly, I will explain for those children who don't understand. This is really important. So this is this is an example of being hypocrite, munafiq. Is, is the word used in the Holy Quran. Those who do something um, different in front of you and behind your back, they will be different. So they are two-faced and two-tongued, okay? That's what it means. And hypocrites, munafiq, that's what it means. And they will phrase their present friends. So the friends that are in front of you, you will phrase them. But, but, but behind their back, when you meet somebody else, you're going to talk bad things about them. That's called hypocrite. That's, that's the word servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah, and uh, if I get you to continue, please, Nargis, Fatima. Number four, 
Anger is a key to every evil. Number five, the faithful believer is a blessing for the believers and a claim against the disbelievers. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ajil farjahu ma farjna bihim. Jazakallah, mashallah, Najis Fatma, a very important selection of choices you have uh, uh, you have picked today for today's session about Imam Hassan al Askari's hadith and sayings. These are really important for each and every one of us in our life. Very important. And inshallah, just like yourself, I will also implement this inshallah in my life too. So Jazakallah for sharing and cho choosing this beautiful hadith. Please recite another salawat for Narjis Fatima and her family. Allahumma swalli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad wa ajil farajahum wa farajna bihi. Let me make the screen bigger now for you guys. So we do know this is Rabbil Akhir. This is the fourth holy month where at times is going too quickly, dear children, dear parents. Alhamdulillah, in Victoria, in Melbourne, restriction has eased now. So we're able to um, go outside. But I believe in other parts of the world, in Pakistan, in India or in Iran, uh, um, the weather's going more towards the cold season. So let's all pray for all of the brothers and sisters in those parts of the region that they do not suffer um, any more from this COVID-19 situation. Ilahi Amin. So this is Rabbil Akhir, the holy month. And according to most historians, it's either 8th or 10th of this date. It means yesterday or tomorrow is the wiladat of Imam Hassan al-Askari. Allah knows best, dear children. And the upcoming month, now I would like to share, uh, share that with all of you beforehand, is um, an important month because we will have Wilada Bibi Zainab, Salamullah Alayha, according to most historians, 1st of Shaban, but some say it's um, on the 5th of Jamadul Awal. Then we have Ayam Bibi Fatima Zahra, Salamullah Alayha, starting. Now, if you remember back that we had the wafat of Hazrat Rasul Khuda sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, and he said that after him, Bibi Fatima Zahra is soon going to join him in the next world. So the ayam means the period of time, the mourning period for Bibi Fatima Zahra is from 13th of Jamadul Awal till the next month which is Jamadul Akhir, the third of it. Because we're not too sure what exactly, uh, which date Bibi Fatima Zahra Salamullah Alayha uh, again got shahadat. And so because of that, we, we mourn over this period of time. Just for many of you to understand, whenever you hear, I am Bibi Fatima Zahra, this is what it means, dear children. So now we are going to share with you calligraphy art by Sayyida Noria Naqvi. She is not feeling well, so can we all please recite salawat for her well-being and for her family's well-being? Allahumma swalli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad wa ajil farajahum wa farajna bihi. Inshallah, through the intercession of Bimari Karbala, Imam Sajjad alayhi salam, she gains kamil shifa. Ilahi amin. So calligraphy art is a beautiful art in Islam and it's important we use it in the best manner. So this is her artwork she has done and she really wanted to share it with, with all of you guys on this day. So this is in Arabic and it calligraphy art is like a certain way you write. So I personally don't know much about it. Um, I was hoping to say the Noria could explain more inshallah in the future though. So this, is the writing of the name of our beloved first Imam, Imam Ali alayhi salam. This one is the beloved name of his wife, our Bibi, Bibi Fatima Zahra salamu alayha. So it's written Fatima. This one is written Sakina, Bibi Sakina salamu alayha. This one is the name of our 11th Imam, Imam Hassan al Askari. And this last one is the name of our 12th Imam, Imam Mahdi. Can we please all recite salawat? 
اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وأجل فرجهم وفرجنا به جزاك الله ما شاء الله سيدة نوريا نقفي beautifully uh, done a calligraphy art and inshallah all the dear children who, who like similar art and would like to participate in the future jashans or majalis then definitely let me know and now we have with us Sayyid Mehdi and Zainab Haider inshallah they're going to recite manqabat please recite salawat for their well-being and for their family's well-being Allahumma swalli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad wa ajil farajahum wa farajna bihi. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Ayan Mirdi. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Zainab Hadar. Allahu, Allahu, Allahu. Allahu, Allahu, Allahu. Jandi taro ki shane jamali me tu. सबसे पतो में पूलो की लाली में तो गोश गोश में तो बाली बाली में तो तेरी तेरी में तो दाली दाली में तो बूते बूते में गुल बूते बूते Allahu, Allahu, 
इनको अपने बुजुर्गों से पसी मिली इरफान की पका मनस्ती मिली दिनों ईमान की तंग दलती मिली अपने अजदात से बुत परस्ती मिली उनके महफिल में भी उनकी महफिल में भी आज है चार सो अल्लाह 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 beautifully recited your recitation on one side and the beautiful background it, it is it makes you go to the next level in terms of us enjoying it beautifully uh decorated so did you guys take part in the decoration in the backyard in the backyard in the background yes yeah. mashallah that's really good you know you get so much sawa from that as well did you guys know that yes yes, yes? when when you every single small step you take in making this day uh, the jashan really nice or even the majlis if you're helping just even a tiny bit you get so much sawab and not only if because it's imam hasan al askari's wiladat but the fact that imam mehdi alayhi salam is present here and he is seeing that you're putting effort for his father how pleased he is with you too right now i can't even say in words so mashallah very well done to both of you and your family let's all recite another salawat for sayyid mehdi and zainab haider allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ali muhammad wa ajjil farajahum wa farajna bihi dear children dear parents now i would like to share with all of you video on the life of Imam Hassan al-Askari alayhi salam. Let's all learn from these videos. Please recite salawat. Allahumma swalli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad wa ajjil farajahum wa farajna bihi. This first video is about the childhood of Imam Hassan al-Askari alayhi salam and what do people uh, learn about him, like adults especially. What do adults learn about the small imam click the subscribe button hit the bell icon to never miss another update the dusty streets were filled with noise as children played their games in one corner some children were playing an exciting game of soccer as they played the ball would bounce off the doors and walls of buildings nearby sometimes accidentally hitting people who were passing by on the other side of the street kids were pretend sword fighting trying to see who was the best soldier amongst them. On the footsteps of a nearby house, some other children were spinning colorful tops, laughing each time the top tumbled. One woman finally came out of her home, waving a broom in her hand, shouting, Why are you making so much noise? Don't you have somewhere else you can play? The children paid no attention to her there, as they were too busy playing. Just then, a very tall man walked through the street. He was wearing a grey turb and had a purple upper draped on his shoulders. He was one of the companions of Imam al-Hadi. As he walked through the street, there were kids in his way, but he didn't want to disturb their games, so he would wait for them to finish and then walk when the path was clear. Sometimes, the kids would even run right into him, but he would just smile at all the fun they were having. As he continued to walk, he came across one child who was quietly sitting by himself on the steps of a house. The child was just watching the other kids play. The man wondered why this little boy was not playing. Was it because he did not have a toy? The kind companion decided to go to one of the little shops and surprise the child with a beautiful wooden sword. The man presented the toy to the child and said, Look what I got for you. 
I bought you a wonderful wooden sword so you can go play with the other kids. The boy smiled at the man and said, Thank you very much, but I'm sitting here because I'm thinking about Allah's wonders. Do you know that Allah says in the Quran that we have not been created only to play? The man was shocked by the little boy's response. He realized that this was no ordinary boy. This was a very special boy indeed. The man sat down next to the child and asked, So why have we been created? The child confidently replied, To so gain knowledge and worship Allah. The man was now even more curious about the young boy and asked, Where did you learn this from? The young boy looked at him and answered, In the Quran, Allah says, Do you think that you have been created without any purpose? Now the man was completely shocked. This child knew the Quran so well. He knew that only an imam could speak so beautifully. Imam al-Hadi would also speak in this way and quote the Quran in his discussions. Slowly it dawned upon the man whom he was speaking to. Surely, this child must be from the family of Rasulullah. Can you guess who this child was? Yes, the child was Imam Hassan al Askari, the son of Imam al Hadi. The man was almost done asking questions. However, he had one last question. He said, You are just a kid. You're not even Baluk. You should be having fun. Imam Hassan al Askari replied, I know, but it is never too early to start gathering good deeds because bad deeds seem to pile up very quickly. Let me explain. Sometimes I used to watch my mother try to light a fire. First she would try to light the big logs, but they would never catch fire easily. So in order to light the big firewood, she would gather and light small twigs. Because the twigs were so small, they would catch fire easily and would then help light the bigger firewood. Humans are the same. If you start practicing from a young age to do good deeds and stay away from bad deeds, then as we get older, those good deeds, like the twigs, will light our hearts to do more good deeds. However, if we do bad deeds from a young age, it will be easier to perform sins as we get older. This reply left the man speechless. He had never heard such a wise reply from an innocent child. He stood up and bid farewell to the young Imam. As he headed home, the man thought deeply about what Imam Hassan al Askari had said. He thought, now, I see why it is so important for everyone to start doing good deeds and stay away from bad deeds from such a young age. As he walked down the street, the noon sun began to shine high above him and you could hear the soft noises of the other children laughing and playing in the distance. He thanked Allah for such a special encounter. <laughs> Jazakallah, mashallah, Sayyidah Hani and Nafi for beautifully preparing these videos for us constantly, mashallah. Um, a very important message that I would like to recap from the video you guys just watched in terms of firing. That's one thing that we can learn as children and as adults that, you know, um, to light up the small twigs first because they catch fire quickly, then the bigger ones, the bigger logs. And exactly the same manner, if we want to, get closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's much easier if we start all our good deeds from a very young age, dear children. Don't think that once you get older, that's when you're gonna focus. No, from a very young age, whatever you do is going to be uh, your habit. That's your habit will become so firm and strong when you grow old. So it's really important you guys take this age seriously. And inshallah, inshallah. Um, you guys are all on the right path at the moment and will continue to be on the right path. Dear children, dear parents, now what I would like to share with you guys is a manqabat by Alize Jafri from USA. Let's all recite salawat for her well-being and for her family's well-being. Allahumma swalli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad wa ajil farajahum wa farajna bihi.
accept your constant effort that you prepare beforehand despite the such a difference in the time and time is not bound to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to an extent you can say it doesn't matter uh, time is not bound to Ahlul Bayt salam as well in the sense that remembering them should not be focused on a particular time but day and night of hours should be on their path and remembering them and following their, their path. MashaAllah, Jazakallah Ali Jafri. Let's all recite another salawat for her and for her family. Allahumma swalli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad wa adil farajahum wa farajnabi. Dear children, dear parents, our final participant right now is with us. We have Horatulain Ali. She has prepared a poetry on our 11th Imam, Imam Hassan al Askari. And then we will finish off today's session with Ziyarat Nama. And yeah, pretty much that's about it. So now I would request you all to please recite salawat for Quratulain Ali and her family for their well being. Allahumma swalli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad wa ajil farajahum wa farajna bihi. Awuzu billahi min shaitani wa jim. Bismillahi wa rahmani wa rahim. Allahumma kul le waliyak al hujjat ibn al Hassan salawatuka alayhi wa ala abai fi hazihi saa wa fi kulli saa waliya wa ayyuhu wa hafiza wa qaida wa nasira wa dalila wa ayna hatta tusqinahu awar zakatuha wa tumatiyahu fiha tawila bi rahmatika ya arhamar rahimin Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad wa ajil farajhum wa ajmain I start in the name of Allah the most beneficent and merciful Assalamu alaikum respected sisters and brothers my name is Quratulain Ali and today I'm going to be reciting a poem I've made in the honor of Imam Hassan al-Askari alayhi salam Billions of people salute to Askari the great Imam Askari Allah gave him such vast knowledge of heaven and earth, had past, present, future knowledge of all holy books combined. His attributes were cleaner than heaven's luscious water. His smile is as bright as the sun beaming into my eyes. His love, kindness and integrita, integrity are ever so polite. For he is the father of the man that we call saviour. For he is the father of the man that we call saviour. Billions of people salute to Askari, the great Imam Askari. He was Allah's proof on earth. He was Allah's mercy on earth. He was Allah's mercy on earth. Billions of people salute to Askari, the great Imam Askari. He was born with a glowing face. What a miracle! With faith in Allah, he bowed his head. Billions of people salute to Askari, the great Imam Askari. He was master of all angels, master of all living things, and the controlling the controller of all non-living things. He was master of all angels, master of all living beings, and the controller of non-living things. Billions of people salute to Askari, the great Imam Askari. He set up manifesting grace. The divine light shone from his face. The wonderful light of power made the earth and sky shine with endeavor. Billions of people salute to Askari, the great Imam Askari. You are a strong leader, a magnificent teacher, and a superior role model to me. The skies tremble to your beloved and holy name. Oh, you are the father of the awaited one. Oh, you are the father of the awaited one. Help me. Preach me and dedicate me to your sacred cause of justice. O Samit Hadi Rafik, 
Zeki, Naki, Khalis, Askari. You who bestow these titles, enlighten me to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's path. O Samit Hadi Rafik Zaki Naki Khalis Askari, you who bestowed these titles, enlighten me to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's light. Billions of people salute to Askari, the great Imam Askari. Please recite aloud salawat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ajil farajhum wa ajmi. Allahumma swalli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ajil farajahum ajma'in. Jazakallah, mashallah, quratulain ali. A beautiful poetry, very, very nicely written. Um, not, not only we learned through your poetry about the significance of Imam Hassan al Askari, but the love and the message you portray to each and every one of us that in our life, how we should really truly, you know, see Imam Hassan al-Askari alayhi salam beautifully done. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with you and accept it in its complete manner. Allahi yeah. amin. May you be among the companions of the Imam of our time, Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. Allahi yeah. amin. Jazakallah, mashallah, Quratulain Ali, beautifully done. Please recite another salawat for Quratulain Ali and her family. Allahumma swalli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad wa ajil farajahum wa farajna bihi. Dear children, dear youth, dear parents, this brings us to the end of today's jashin. Uh, unlike last time, we had cake ceremony at the end. We were cutting that. We didn't get that chance today. But the Wiladid is tomorrow. So definitely uh, do some niyaz, as small as it may be, just your intention. It's, it's, it's really important when you do whatever you cook, whatever you give small um, with the niyat that on this day, for Imam Mahdi alayhi salam, for his father uh, alayhi salam. Inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it. We're going to recite Ziyarat Nama, so I would request you all to please stand up now. Uh, facing the Qibla is even more beneficial, uh, which will be really good. Let's all put our hands together, dear children, and get used to this habit of reciting Ziyarat Nama at the end. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaykum ya Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa alihi. Assalamu alaykum ya Imam Ali Murtaza. Assalamu alaykum ya Bibi Fatima Zahra. Assalamu alaykum ya Imam Hassan Mujtaba. Assalamu alaykum ya Imam Hussein. Assalamu alaykum ya Imam Zain al-Abidin. Assalamu alaykum ya Imam Muhammad al-Baqir. Assalamu alaikum ya Imam Jafar al-Sadiq. Assalamu alaikum ya Imam Musa al-Kazim. Assalamu alaikum ya Imam Ali al-Raza. Assalamu alaikum ya Imam Muhammad Taqi. Assalamu alaikum ya Imam Ali al-Naqi. Assalamu alaikum ya Imam Hassan al-Askari. And let's all send our salam to the Imam of our time. Assalamu alaikum ya Mawla ya Sahib al Asri wa Zaman. Please recite salawat. Allahumma swalli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad wa ajil farajahum wa farajna bihi. Let's all say ilahi amin on the following. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all your efforts, your contribution, and your love for Ahlul Bayt alayhim wa salam. Ilahi amin. May Allah give help to the sick ones through the intercession of the Imam Karbala Imam Zainul Abidin alayhi salam. Ilahi Ameen. May Allah give Kamil Iman complete faith to each and every one of us. Ilahi Ameen. May we all get the marifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam. Ilahi Ameen. May Allah give us the opportunity to visit all the holy shrine of the Mahsumin alayhi salam. And right now in Iran, in Mashhad, the holy shrine of Imam Ali Raza alayhi salam, seeing the pictures on social media, there's no, inshallah, inshallah, we all get the opportunity to go in that beautiful season. Ilahi ameen. May Allah forgive our sins, our mistakes, our shortcomings. Ilahi ameen. May Allah hasten the reappearance of Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. Ilahi ameen. 
let's all, dear children, dear parents, recite Surah Fatiha and three times Surah Tawheed for all the marhumin. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Ar Rahmanir Rahim. Maliki Yomidin. Iyak Nabdu, Iyak Nasta'in. Ehdina Sirat al Mustaqim. Sirat al Ladina an Anta Alayhim. Fayr al Makhnubi Alayhim. Walad Lawlil. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Kulhu Wallahu Ahad. Allahu Samad. لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد لسرسا سلوات اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وأجل فرجهم وفرجنا به. Dear children, dear parents, think of all your hajat and reach out to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala through the intercession of fourteen Muslims alayhi wasalam right now. Pray for everyone in your family first, dear children, and then for yourself at the end. Iltimas e dua, Khuda Hafiz.